this recording. Right. Hey everybody, this is Case and today I'm going to be talking about some, just giving some advice about college and stuff. Well, a little bit about my college experience. I am now a sophomore in college. I go to UL. This is my voice. I'm kind of recovering from, you know, being sick or whatever. But yeah, um, I'm a sophomore. I'm majoring in performing arts. My concentration is theater. Um, I'm not in like any organizations or any, or in any groups. Um, I don't live on campus anymore. I had to move off campus because our dorms, well, the dorms that I was staying in was way too expensive. So I just moved into an apartment. I found it, to me, it was the best de decision for me because, I mean, the rent here is cheaper than paying installments living in the dorms on campus. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna move here and that's what I did. Um, let's see. <clears throat> well, the only, okay, so I'm going to say this. The only thing about living off campus is that you don't really get to, you don't find out about on-campus events as much as you used to, as much as you do living on campus. Like, this semester so far, they've had so many things on campus, and I've heard about them or seen them like on snapchat or twitter but never really like got a chance to actually go to an on-campus event unless i was already on campus the only event i would really say it wasn't on campus but i did go to our um <clears throat> splatter beat paint party that we had um i also have a video of that it's a vlog that i made it's kind of yeah i guess it was just you know not like the the dust paint that we usually have it was actually like the neon wet paint so yeah it was pretty cool um let's see okay well the first thing that i have is why should people go to college i think people should go to college to just at least go for a semester just to get that experience of living on campus meeting new people joining new clubs um getting to you know set up your own personal like lifestyle you're on your own now so now you have to manage your time manage your money need to know how to do all that type of stuff handle business well talk to adults because entering college you are considered a, an adult so now you have to do a lot of adult things which can be kind of aggravating and annoying, but it has to be done. You have way more responsibilities. I know for me, I can't really depend on my parents like I used to back in high school. So now since I'm on my own, I think I'm doing a pretty good job to say that I'm only 19, have my own apartment. I mean, managing my money, managing my time, doing everything, you know, and a, a responsible adult should do so yeah i think that um if you're entering college just you know make sure you're not going crazy because trust me college is fun college is like the best thing i've ever like experienced but you have to make sure that you're doing you're doing your work you're paying like dues on time you're turning in papers on time Everything in college pretty much has a deadline to it. So you want to make sure that you meet those deadlines. Even though that they may have a late deadline, if you miss it, it's still good to always be on point with your de your actual deadline that you're given. Because a lot of people, a lot of, like, you know, careers, well, not careers, but, you know, whatever your career may be, a lot of people in that field may look at that, like, for internships, making sure that you're doing everything on time, you're arriving on time, not late, having no excuses, minimum ex minimal excuses. If you do have an excuse, make sure that you talk to the person that, you know, you're meeting with or, like, for instance, your teachers. <clears throat> If you were to go to class one day, but you weren't feeling, feeling well or anything, and you just needed to take a day off, it's always best to email them and let them know so that they won't just be like, oh, 
you skip class, I'm just gonna, you know, not worry about it, comment as whatever. Cause you know, you gotta, you have to negotiate in college. You have to speak to people and let them know. So trust me, if you speak to people, your life will be a lot easier because once they understand, they can like work around whatever your problems are. So yeah, that's another thing that you should look for like in college. And um, another thing about college is paying for it. I know most people are on scholarships. Most people are on tops. Most people pay out of pocket. I know for me, um, I don't pay out of pocket. I try not to pay out of pocket, but I don't receive tops. I don't receive um, any scholarships or anything, but I do receive um, tuition exem exemption from the VA, the Veteran Affairs, because my father was in the military and he's a veteran now, so I get benefits from him being in the service. So with all that, I guess it pays for my school, my classes, it pays for my tuition. Um, I get a check every month to like help me with like my living expenses. Um, I also apply for financial aid as well. Everyone, well, I know in my school, we weren't required, but they wanted us to apply for financial aid even if we didn't need it, but I still applied because, you know, it's always a good thing to have, you know, extra assistance in case like something doesn't have like something doesn't go right with the other thing then you have a backup plan for that one um another thing about college i would say when you're scheduling your classes make sure you talk to an advisor because my freshman year my first semester of my freshman year i scheduled my classes kind of by myself i had an advisor but they only help me with the classes that, well, they only help me with my math classes because it was hard for me to get into my math classes. But everything else, I kind of did on my own and I kind of added classes I didn't need for my major. So those were just extra credits just floating around. So now, um, yeah, um, once you get your major, Make sure you talk to an advisor and make sure that they're actually helping you pick the classes that you need for graduation because they do not play. When they come down to graduation and you need all the credits that you need, they will look at that and pick out the credits that you took and see if you actually needed it in your degree. So if you don't need a class that's not in your degree, please do not waste your time and take it because trust me, it's not worth your time. Um, also, while scheduling your classes, um, if you are a morning person versus a night person, schedule morning classes because, well, for me, anyways, I'm not a morning person and I'm not a night person either, but I do have morning classes. The earliest I can do is 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, so my earliest class now is 9 o'clock. And I have an 11 o'clock class. And then my latest class is like 1 o'clock on Tuesday, on Mondays and Wednesdays and 12.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mondays and Wednesdays is um, <clears throat> 1 o'clock and then Tuesdays and Thursdays is 12.30. So yeah, if you are, if you think you're capable of waking up at 8 o'clock, seven o'clock going to class at eight o'clock go ahead i can't do it i'm not doing it so if you can do that go right ahead this summer i actually took a night class <coughs> i actually took a night class and it was from seven o'clock to ten o'clock so it was a three hour block and it was once a week and I hated it. I hated going there because during the day, I didn't have, I had one class and it was at night. It was from 9.30 to, I don't remember what time I got out, but I had that class early in the morning, had the rest of the day to do whatever I wanted 
got comfortable around 7 o'clock, 6.30 or 7 o'clock when there's time for me to get ready to class. I did not want to go. I skipped class. To be honest, I skipped class at least three to four times. I actually skipped class. One day we had a midterm and I did not know. So I had to email my teacher, tell them, well, I actually made up an excuse for why I didn't come. So I had to tell them that I missed the midterm, but they luckily they let me make it up because some teachers will be like, I'm sorry, you can't make it up, whatever, whatever. So yeah, I know I can't do night classes, neither morning, early morning classes. I'd rather during the day, like, noonish um what else what else like i said before about the emailing email your teacher check your check your emails because your teachers will email you they will cancel class 10 minutes before class will start i promise you if you have a teacher like that please check your email daily check it every hour because that's what i have to do because my teacher she has children and she just had a baby not too long ago so you know she has to cancel class to provide to her children and like today she canceled class actually four minutes into class it was my class started for one she canceled class at 104 but she also sent out an email earlier that morning saying that our other class was canceled because I have her for two classes and that she told us that that class was canceled but she didn't tell us that the other class was canceled. So that caused a lot of confusion. So just make sure that you check your emails with your teachers. Um, another thing, <clears throat> some people say that teachers well, I don't know because it's different from everybody. Like for my major, I have the most easiest classes. So my teachers aren't really that hard. They're easy to negotiate with. You can always email them, text them, whatever. But I know a lot of teachers that's very hardcore. They do not play at all. Like my teachers, they don't play. But I mean, then again, I'm a theater major. So they understand. <laughs> Um, more about teachers. I feel like once you start your courses that are like mainly for your major, your teachers will understand more, but like for your gen ed courses like math, science, like biology, I hate biology. I feel like those teachers are the, the not the worst, but the hardest and the toughest to like, you know, not get along with, but you know have some type of connection so yeah I would advise you to it's okay so if you go to a medium to large university like I do where the classes aren't big they're like high school classes probably in between 10 to 30 people depending on like I said your classes or whatever um get to talk get to know your teacher talk to your teacher and let them know who you are introduce yourself so that whenever you do have a problem or anything you can let them know and they'll know okay so i know how this student is you know blah 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 but if you have a bigger class like a hundred something students other classmates yeah that one's kind of tough because i'm glad i didn't have to take that but that one is tough i have friends who take classes with those many people in it and <clears throat> that many people sorry and they just say that they're professors they have to use clickers to check in for rope so I mean I didn't have to do none of that so the most people I had in my class one of my classes is 40 45 people and that's still not a lot because not everybody show up so that's another thing about teachers and classes now, if you're living on campus, campus is pretty cool to live on. I mean, everyone's around, you have friends, you can go like to their dorm or whatever. Everyone's close. You also have community assistants or resident assistants. They're the people who, they're um, in my dorm that I stayed in, on each floor there were two CAs, the community assistants. There was one on the floor I stayed on and then there was one on the floor that was like as you turn a corner there's like a whole nother floor of rooms and stuff and they're there to like 
assist you with any problems you have, um, to get you in trouble, really. Um, to do dorm checks. Whenever we have fire drills, they make sure that everyone is out of their room. Um, sometimes they can be fun. Like, whenever we have, like, dorm, not competitions, but, like, dorm events, like, in our community rooms or downstairs in, like, the um, common area, they would, like, you know, play games and buy pizza and stuff like that. Those fun things. But if you are loud and rowdy and running around the place, they will report you to the dean and could possibly get you kicked out of the dorm. So you have to watch for them. I would say be friends with them because you can get away with a lot of stuff, in my opinion. But my CA, I mean, she was normal, I guess, basic, basic CA, I guess. And CAs, they're usually like upperclassmen, like some maybe sophomores, sophomores, juniors, or seniors. And they also get to live in the dorms for free. Like if you become a CA, you get your tuition paid, you get your rooms paid, you get your meal plan paid. You just, you live in life. So I think that's one of the reasons why most of them became CAs. But, I don't know, I could become a CA. I feel like I'm I'm a nice person, but I don't think people would take me seriously because I don't take myself seriously, so I know I cannot be a CA. Um, so yeah, that's just about everything about a dorm room. Your roommates, um, make sure you get along with your roommates. I mean, of course, if you don't, you can always switch out. But me and my roommates got along. We didn't really talk a lot because I had a roommate and two other sweet mates. We, we got along, but we didn't really hang out like talking about it. Um, my roommate was never in the room. But, I mean, neither was I at some point. So, I mean, everything was cool. It was good. Um, what else about dorms? <clears throat> um... Now here at our university, if you stay on campus in a dorm or on the camp on campus apartments, you have to have a meal plan. And that's another reason why I had to leave because a meal plan costs almost two thousand dollars by itself. The dorm was two thousand dollars, two thousand in between two thousand and three thousand dollars, and the meal plan was almost it was like a thousand to two thousand dollars, and put together it was four thousand a semester, and. I was like, I cannot live like this. I mean, I had to come out of pocket to pay for my dorm because um, financial aid did not cover the whole thing. So I had to pay like $2,000 out of pocket. So that's so I was like, for all of that, I might as well get my own place, buy my own food since I'm already coming out of pocket anyways. So that's one reason why, another reason why I left. Um... <clears throat> I mean, if you are working out of pocket, you can also, I mean, not working, paying out of pocket, you can also work, you can do work study, or you can find a local job, because everywhere around campus is hiring. I'm pretty sure everywhere, like fast food restaurants, the mall, like small stores, boutiques, all type of stores are hiring. So, I mean, I would say the maximum hours a student should work is 18 hours a week. But, but, that's only if your schedule is kind of, you know, too much already. But if you can handle more than that, that's great. But um, the more hours you have, the more money you get. And, you know, us college students need that money. So, whatever works best for you, whatever is, like, whatever fits your schedule, do it. If you go to class, have three classes one day, two classes another day, have projects and tests, I would say stick to 18 hours a week. But if you don't have that many, like me, my classes, we do projects, but they're not like major projects where I can work around it. So if I were to get a job, which I'm trying to now, <clears throat> I will work as many hours as I can during the week so I can get some money, pay for my rent, pay for books pay for food gas because gas is no joke um yeah 
If you can do it, do it. If you can't, I understand. Take your time. Take your time in college, I swear. Do not rush. Do not rush. If you cannot handle it, do not rush. I feel like I can handle most of the things because my major isn't that hard, but I'm not rushing, but I'm kind of at a little faster pace. So, <clears throat> do not rush college, please. Um, also, try to get involved around campus. Like, <clears throat> try to join clubs, um, sports, even if you don't play that well, it's always fun to try out. Um, you might not get to play, but you can experience it. College is all about experience and getting out in the world and becoming, finding yourself, becoming yourself, and all that good stuff. So yeah, get involved. I'm currently not involved, but I am looking for a club to get involved that I actually would enjoy and not want to skip, hop, and jump around. So, and this is my sophomore year of college, so I'm still trying to like find what's best for me um also go to the football games go to the basketball games um homecoming is a big thing homecoming is like the best thing about college it's so much fun you have so many parties you get to go to games all your friends come down in town your family might come down in town you get to tailgate eat watch a football game it's just everything is so much fun and then the weather is perfect it's not too hot it's not too cold it's just everything is just wonderful so yeah do some do some of those things <coughs> now <coughs> about partying now to me i feel like people over exaggerate when they say Partying could like get you knocked like I don't know how to explain it. I feel like people over exaggerate when they say too much partying could like ruin your college career, all this type of stuff. But it depends on who you are. Like if you are a hardcore partier, I mean it all depends. If you could handle your school, balance school and partying at the same time, then you got some energy in you because I could not do it. I mean, I like to party. I don't go out a lot, a lot. Like everybody go out every weekend, I cannot do it. I can go out like once every two weeks, maybe. Maybe that Friday they might have something going on or that Thursday we might go to a club or Saturday they might have like a kickback or something like that. But, um. I know people who are party promoters who party every weekend and still pass, like still do good in school, still focusing and not just focusing on partying. Like school comes first, remember that. School always comes first. But I mean, it's okay to party, it's okay to drink, it's okay to do whatever you want, but just remember that school comes first that's what you came to school for to learn not to party but i mean you know some people don't have their priorities straight but can't speak for everybody um besides parties um going home for the holidays having breaks we just had our fall break um this weekend actually and i said i didn't want to go home but i went home anyways um holidays going home for holidays i know not everybody can but i would advise you to because it gets so boring around school nobody's here i mean wouldn't you rather be with your family instead of being here by yourself <clears throat> no food eating noodles and cereal for thanksgiving is not fun it is not fun at all um like last year, last semester, spring semester, since nothing was going on and we only had spring break and Mardi Gras break, um, I went home every weekend. Nothing was going on on campus, no games. Um, most of my friends left fall semester and never came back spring semester. So I would just go home every weekend 
see my boyfriend, see my friends, because nobody was really on campus. Spring, spring semester was mainly focusing on school more than it is fall semester because fall semester you know you have everything blah 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 all the fun stuff and then spring semester there's nothing so you have no choice but to work and be miserable so that's what i did i went home every weekend which i had to stop doing that because my car i was putting too many miles on my car my car was start breaking down not functioning gas was getting expensive so i definitely had to stop um yeah, I mean, if you got the money like that, got the car like that, go home every weekend. Only during the spring semester because fall semester is fun. But if there's nothing going on, just if you're close enough, go home. I'm only two hours away. I mean, I can deal with that. But if not, you know, if you don't have a car, find somebody who does, who lives in your city and ask them if they're going home and try to catch a ride with them. All for gas money because that's one thing. A lot of people didn't offer gas money, but I still brought them home with me. Like, I still bring them home. Every weekend, people would ask me, you going home this weekend? I'm like, sure, you need a ride? They're like, yeah. But it would never offer me gas money. Only a select few would. But I mean, you know, I appreciate that. I mean, I don't mind bringing people home, but if it's a constant thing, and you're not offering gas money and I'm coming out of my pocket, I don't have to bring you home. Like, I really don't. I can be I can be mean at sometimes, but I mean I'm genuinely a nice person. So if you need a ride home, so I'll give you a ride home. I mean if I knew if I needed a ride home I would ask for one, but you know everybody ain't able to ride. <laughs> um <clears throat> something else I wanted to mention about class. Dressing up for class. If it is not required for you to get cute or dress up for class don't do it i can understand if you're trying to impress somebody or impress your teachers go for it but dressing up every day for class like me i don't wear makeup all the time for class the only times i do is if i'm feeling like i feel like doing my makeup but i never have, really have time so <coughs> that's another thing um Basically, this is all I wear. A jacket or like a t-shirt or shorts if it's hot, tights if it's cold. Tennis maybe, maybe sandals, flip-flops, a hat. I don't like, I mean, I don't want to say I don't like, but I rarely, not rarely, but <laughs> I get lazy and I don't like doing my hair in the morning. So I just pop a hat on, jacket or shirt or tights or shorts and shoes and leave out the door might do something little mascara no lipstick i like i just i don't know that's all i do and i leave so yeah i mean i don't know well that's really all that i have to say right now about college but i mean everybody's experience is different some people love it, some people don't. Not everyone is made for it, so if you are, great. If not, great. It doesn't matter. So I think that's all I have for the college advice video. But if you want to know more, it doesn't even have to be about college. It could be about lifestyle, hair, makeup, um, random facts what am i doing like anything just you know comment below and i will make a video for it so talk to you guys in my next video